This is the movie on absolute value. As always, please make sure you have your graphic organizer with you and ready to go. Let's work on some vocabulary. Absolute value we discussed on the movie a couple of days ago, but please remember that the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on the number line. Now to write absolute value of a number, you write it like this. You write it with those two lines on either side. That stands for absolute value. Absolute value is always positive. It's just how far it is away from zero. So the absolute value of six is six. The absolute value of negative seven is seven because negative seven is seven points away from zero. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10. Let's order these absolute values from greatest to least. Please make sure you realize that we're going greatest to least. Now what I would suggest doing first of all is just writing the absolute values down as regular numbers. For example, the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of 5 is 5. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10. And the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. Now we can go ahead and put them in order from greatest to least. Greatest on here is the 10, so we can go ahead and write as the absolute value of negative 10. Then we have 8, which is the absolute value of negative 8. Then we have 6, which is the absolute value of negative 6. And then we have 5, which is the absolute value of 5. Now that's in order from greatest to least. Well, let's pose a problem where we would probably use the absolute value. Uh, stock prices rise and fall every day. The table shows the annual change in price for a group of stocks. These changes serve as an important indicator of stock market prices. During which two years were the stock price changes the greatest? Now, all it's asking for is change. Now, change can be positive or negative. It's just a change. So to look at these, we can look at the absolute value of the price changes. Now, if over here it says in 2010, the change is the absolute value of 11, so it would be 11. In 2009, the change, how far it went from where we expected it to be, was 19. In 2008, it dropped 34, but it still changed 34. It wasn't for the best, but it still changed. And in 2007, it changed six units. So if we find the two years that had the greatest, val greatest change, it would have been in 2008, which granted that was not a good change, but it was still a great, uh, the greatest um, number of change. And then we had 2009, which had a change of 19. So that's how we would kind of use um, absolute value in daily work is sometimes we look at changes as positive or negative, but sometimes the negative is still has the most value. So 2008, even though it was negative 34 and the others were positive, it still had the greatest change. Well, let's do some comparison between absolute values. As we did earlier, when we put them in order from least, greatest to least, we need to actually look at very carefully at what the actual value is. 76, the absolute value of 76 would be 76, and the absolute value of negative 36 would be 36. When we look at it that way, we can see that 76 is greater than 36. Absolute value of negative 55 would just be 55, and the absolute value of negative 27 is 27. When you do that, you realize that the absolute value of negative 55 is greater than the absolute value of negative 27. 41, just plain old 41, and the absolute value of negative 42 and 3 tenths would be 42 and 3 tenths. Um, 42 and 3 tenths is greater than 41. Absolute value of negative 9 is 9. The absolute value of 9 is 9. So in this case, both of these absolute values have the same amount. They're worth the same distance away from 0. Okay, this time we're going to order the values from uh, least to greatest. Make sure we realize we're going smallest to greatest this time. Just like last time, um, we're going to change the absolute values so that we can write them out as their true distance away from zero. The absolute value of 14 is 14. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. 
the absolute value of 21 is 21, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Now if we go to put those in order from least to greatest, it's going to be the absolute value of negative 3, then the absolute value of negative 8, then the absolute value of 14, and then finally the absolute value of 21. Our next example, 41 is just plain old 41. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. And the absolute value of 6 is 6. Put those in order from least to greatest. We have the absolute value of negative 4, absolute value of 6, absolute value of 9, and then 41, least to greatest. Uh, I hope you wrote down all your notes. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. The secret password for this time is sunny day. Let's just keep hoping. <laughs> Bye.